All right, take a look at this. This is amateur video. It shows what appears to be another big protest in Iran. Open defiance there. Protesters claim the re-election of Iran's president was rigged, and the Iranian government is trying everything to tighten its grip on power there. So they marched in silence in Iran's capital today. They're all wearing green ribbons to support the opposition leader in the election, but only a few grainy images like the ones you just saw of the protest actually made it out of the country. Now, as we're seeing here, an amateur video showed thousands of people marching today on an overpass in Tehran. But fewer images are coming out. To block the videos from being sent out, Iran has cut most internet service and jammed foreign news networks from broadcasting there. Iran is also accusing the U.S. of fueling the unrest by, quote, meddling in its internal affairs. In fact, they called in the Swiss ambassador today to complain about the U.S. They want the U.S. to know they believe they're behind all of this. And Iranian officials have confirmed seven people were killed this week in violent clashes over this election. Meantime, in Irvine, local Iranians are taking to the streets here to protest, saying they want to make sure people in this country don't forget what's going on in the country of Iran. NBC4's Vicki Vargas live in Irvine right now with that part of our coverage. Vicki? And Colleen, there are probably about a thousand people here among the four corners at Barranca and Jamboree gathering here just about half an hour ago. Some of them are students. They are carrying signs that say stop the killing. Others are older adults with dual citizenship saying we want a new vote. You'll see many of them wearing that green that you referred to, but each one asking the same question, where's my vote? But he didn't. And uh, Alex Bulirchi believes it's in Iran's best interest to be America friends with the United States, even though the two broke off diplomatic relations 30 years ago. He carries dual citizenship, but did not vote in last Friday's election. Now the Anaheim man finds himself filled with concern for his homeland. I think every Iranian you talk to, it was in, uh, affected by this uh, process, which they think they thought it was not just. So we all want to be participate and uh, make sure that what's going to happen in the future is going to be right. Hello and welcome to the Orange County Crosstalk Show. I'm Alex Bulirchi. Bulirchi hosts a cable television show centered around the culture of Iran. He is not surprised to see protesters filling the streets of Tehran. He says he understands why the opposition leader, Mir Hussein Mousavi, is asking for an investigation. And he questions how President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad could declare a landslide victory. He is not alone. The Iranian Student Union, based at UC Irvine, is using its Facebook page to reach out to like-minded young adults. The Internet has become a technological open book, despite the Iranian government's efforts to shut down communications. Lots of Iranians are very savvy about computers. They go find filters, they go find, break the filters, and they can get into, <laughs> into this. So, so the government uh, uh, really, I think, is working against something that they cannot handle it. Bolirchi will be among hundreds of pro protesters in Irvine this afternoon, hoping to draw attention to what they say is a questionable democracy. Redo the vote or somehow they, they come up with something that uh, is acceptable to, to Mr. Musavi's camp. Uh, I, don't, I don't see any other way out of this. Mosavi has already called on his supporters to take to the streets again on Thursday in Iran, where it is now about 5.30 in the morning. I'm reporting live from Irvine, Channel 4 News. Colleen, back to you.